Staying on top of a big breaking news story going on right now. Six people have died in a crash that happened in downtown Houston. Police say a driver ran a red light while speeding, leading to the catastrophic crash that happened at Fannin and Pierce. That's just east of 45. ABC 13's Nick Natario is live there now from the scene. And Nick, the video you showed us earlier, absolutely awful. Yeah, it's horrific, doesn't even justify what we have seen out here, some of the images on scene. And since I last saw you a half hour ago, I was able to talk to a witness, a man who was out here sleeping on the streets, when he says suddenly it sounded like a freight train collided into a vehicle. It was so loud, it woke him from his sleep. And when he walked over to the scene here, he couldn't believe what he saw. Here's what we know. Officers say about four hours ago, there was a collision here at this intersection involving one vehicle that was running at a high rate of speed. Four people were dead here at the scene. Four others were transported to the hospital. Two died at the hospital. Another woman right now this morning is fighting for her life in critical condition. Officers are here at the scene trying to figure out more about exactly what happened. They have equipment here on scene as they piece this all together, but they spoke to us not too long ago to give us an update on exactly how they believe the crash occurred. The Chrysler 300 was southbound on Fannin and the SUV was eastbound on Pierce. Uh, the eastbound vehicle on Pierce had the right of way, had a stale green light, and uh, the other vehicle ran a red light. Appears to be going very fast, high velocity. And family and friends continue to gather around here, hugging right now just off camera as they are trying to understand exactly what happened. We don't have any identification on the victims. However, we do know that one man who was killed was homeless. The person that I spoke to just moments ago told me that that could have been him. He usually sleeps by the man that lost his life, and he's obviously shaken about what happened. We're going to continue to stay out here and try to get the very latest from HPD. Live in downtown, Nick Notario, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.